Hello everybody, it's an old pop hunter, and today is another episode of What's Poppin', so let's get into it. No, first thing, Rat Fink Gray. They made him Funko Shop exclusive. It's a pretty cool one. And then they made Huckleberry Hound 10 inch with a chase, also exclusive to the Funko Shop. But I feel like when it's a 10 inch chase, not many people are gonna get the chase because when it's like a normal pop or something, people will search for the chase and they'll buy like a bunch of them just so they can get the chase. But I feel like that's not gonna happen with the 10 inch because the 10 inch pops literally take up like a lot of space. So it'll be hard and people like, if they buy all of them, they do that with the pop and it's like, even if you buy like a bunch of them, it's not even the size of one 10 inch. So I'm not the biggest fan of 10 inch chases, but I do like the, I do like Huckleberry Hound, but the chase is just a red version of him. So I don't really like that. I mean, it's fine, but the blue one is better. And that's a fact. And then, the new thing on the Funko Shop is TJ. That is part of Fantastic Plastic, but he he came out a while ago. This is just a variant of him, and this is exclusive to the Funko Shop. Cool. And some new other new stuff that came out. They just made an R2-D2. This one is awesome. Like, the amount of detail they put into it. It's like he's dirty, and they get it, like, so detail. It's crazy, really. Like the normal R2-D2, yeah, that's cool, but like this one, it's great. And then they made, personally, one of my favorite movies into Pops. What about Bob? So this is Bill Murray, and great. They made three, they're all him. I would like to see some of the other characters made into the Pops, but they made one of him in a shirt that says, don't hassle me, I'm local. And then they made another one of him, just in a shirt with a fish in a jar with water. And that's like, he's holding it, he's wearing it. And then he's got the shirt, he's got the um, book, Baby Steps, which is the one his therapist wrote. But what I'm seeing on this, so the book has a picture of the guy on it in the movie. So they remade the book, like the full cover. It's probably like a decal. They did the same thing with the adventure book from Up when they did the Carl and Ellie, but they didn't popify the guy's face. I was expecting them to probably do that, but they didn't. So I'm guessing this is like one of the first pops that actually has like a human's face on it. Well, I mean, most of them do, but like, a human, human face. And then I think this one's my favorite. Walmart exclusive, him with the, he's got a life vest. He was like, he got, he was tied around the pole and he was like, I'm sail, I'm a sailor, I sail. I sail, I'm a sailor, I sail. So that's like one of the best moments from the movie, I'd say. So I wanna get that pop, it's a cool one. And then they made some X-Men pops. They've made a lot of X-Men pops. And yeah. Oh, actually, one more thing. So this one is pretty cool. I don't get it, but pretty cool. So if you've ever heard of Halloween, Funko is doing some Halloween pops, but in May. That's the thing. It's Funko Ween in May. So they posted about this on Instagram and you can see like silhouettes of some things. So I think one is Freddy Krueger and I think the other is Michael Myers and the one on the left, I think that's like from the Killer Clowns from Outer Space, but yeah. So I'm guessing they're gonna release some pops. Well, yeah, that's what they said. So they made a post on their Instagram and the caption is, for the first time ever, Funko is happy to bring you Funko Ween in May. We will be announcing new Halloween themes products around all, wait, across all of next week. 
Tune in for all the fun and follow our blog page to see a list of the series and when they are announced, as they are announced. So, I'm excited for these. I don't know if I'm going to get any of them, but Funko Ween in May. I don't get it. Well, I mean, not much happens in May, especially in quarantine, so yeah, Funko Ween in May. And so, I just saw the Scoob movie, and it was pretty good, but like five minutes into the movie, I realized something on Shaggy Scalp. Shelf, not Scalp, Shelf. Shelf, so he had two Funko Pops, actually. So, in the movie, there's Blue Falcon and there's Dino Mutt. These are old Hanna-Barbera characters that they just put in the movie. They're a pretty big part of the movie, but. So, they made a Blue Falcon and they made a Dino Mutt. But these are pops that have been out for a while. But they put them in on a shelf because Shaggy had a bunch of stuff. And I looked on the Funko app. I looked at the pops that they've actually made. And these are the same. So that's pretty cool. They didn't make pops for Scoob. They made Scooby-Doo. They made Young Shaggy. So this is very strange. Cool that they put those in. And now I know all the Pop Hunter stuff. So... I'm at 144 subscribers, and I made a tweet on Twitter telling people to follow Top Pops, Top Dons. So, back in like 2016 or 2017, uh, in I think in April, maybe April 1st, he was talking about changing his channel to McDonald's Toys. So, that, now he made a Twitter account for it, and I just said to follow it. Top Pops liked the tweet. It's cool. But, yeah, so go follow Top Dons, link in description, and my Twitter, linked in description. So, yeah, and that's all for now. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more by me. Goodbye.